Welcome back. So building on what we discussed in the first video about Podman, it's important to note that since the basic unit of value in Kubernetes is the pod and not the container, that we should really look at some of the things that Podman can do for us in that regard. So in this video, we'll be stepping through just some basic commands here uh, to introduce a little bit more on, on that aspect. So starting here, we're going to go ahead and create an actual pod. And we'll take a look at how that pod uh, appears to us when we're working with Podman. And next, we're going to actually list out the way that the container and the pod are uh, tied together. Um, we can actually see basically both uh, the container ID that's been created and and the pod as well, which you know pods are basically uh, up to several containers. Um, in size, uh, but Kubernetes thinks about everything in terms of uh, pod scheduling and, and uh, so forth. So next we'll go ahead and actually run, um, run this from here. And really just that simple, we can get in and actually do uh, a PS and actually see uh, the container ID here uh, that's been set up. So, you know, just trying to build a little bit on this, just a short video to just uh, try to walk through a little bit here to get used to and familiarize ourselves with, uh, with Podman. So the next video we'll be covering a little bit more about how we bring some of the things that we've built in these first two videos about Podman into more of an OpenShift context. So I hope to see you there.